hello students good afternoon uh, welcome to the chemistry class of electrochemistry in last class we have discussed about the resistance conductance specific conductance and specific resistance and today we are going to learn about a new topic like uh, equivalent conductance and molar conductance and some of the numericals of it okay so first equivalent conductance equivalent conductance so equivalent conductance can be denoted as lambda eq lambda eq so it can be defined as the conducting power of it can be defined as the conducting power of all the ions conducting power of all the ions when one gram equivalent of substance dissolves in an equation okay so it is very clear that equivalent conductance can be denoted as uh, lambda eq and it can be defined as the conducting power of all the ions conducting power of all the ions when one gram of substance dissolve in an aqueous solution it means when one gram of substance we will take as a electrolyte and uh, you will dilute we will dilute in the aqueous solution then uh, what ions will form how much ions will form means they can conduct the electricity okay in the electrolyte itself so <clears throat> to easy description we are going to discuss about an example of that for example uh, it means <clears throat> If you take one gram equivalent of one gram equivalent of NaCl, one gram equivalent of NaCl, it will decompose to form one mole of one mole of Na plus ion and one mole of Cl minus ion. So here we have taken one gram equivalent of NaCl. is a in a electrolytic solution okay when it dissolve it dissociate to form two ions one positive ion and one negative ion the positive ion is na plus and one negative ion is cl minus ion means we got that one mole of na plus ion and one mole of cl minus ion so uh, here <coughs> the number of positive ion is one the number of the number of positive ion is one a number of negative ion also one okay so when we have, we have taken an nacl one gram equivalent of nacl uh, the ions will be formed the plus ion and minus ion one for positive ion and one negative ion they will conduct the electricity okay it means the conducting power of uh, these uh, positive ion and negative ions in aqueous solution when dissolved in aqueous solution they will form means uh, they will conduct the electricity it is all about the equivalent conductance okay so its unit will be so what is this unit so equivalent conductance is related to that uh, <coughs> normality we know that the normality means when one gram equivalent of substance is dissolved in one uh, liter of solution dissolved in one liter of solution then it is called it's a normal solution it's normality okay so it is related to normality so we can write lambda equivalent is equal to k k means kappa into 1000 whole divided by the concentration okay here the concentration means k 
kappa into 1000 multiplied by this normality multiplied by its normality so the equivalent conductance can be denoted as that lambda equivalent equals to kappa into 1000 divided by normality its unit is its unit is ohm inverse cm square okay gram equivalent ohms so from this unit we can recognize that that uh, it shows a gram equivalent of the substance okay ohm inverse cm square gram equivalent inverse okay so this is all about the equivalent conductance okay so next we are going to discuss about the molar conductance or molar conductivity okay molar conductance again we can write that lambda m okay lambda m represents the molar conductivity or molar conductance of the localized solution so here likewise the <coughs> equivalent conductance uh, it can be defined as the molar conductivity or molar conductance molar conductance can be defined as the conducting power of all the ions when one mole of substance one mole of substance dissolving equal solution equal when one more substance is dissolved in the in a pure solution when it is dissociated to form the number of ions then the ions what ions will form they will conduct the electricity okay so the molar conductance can be defined as the conducting power of all the ions conducting power of all the ions form when one mole of substance is dissolved in the aqueous solution okay when one mole of substance will be take then they will form the number of ions they can conduct the electricity okay so <coughs> equivalent conductance also can be mathematically represented as lambda m equal to kappa into 1000 cm cube whole divided by the molar unit okay cm cube divided by molar unit so this one is the mathematical representation of uh, molar conductance and its unit will be this unit will be ohm inverse cm square mole inverse okay so for uh, gram equivalent equivalent conductance we have written ohm inverse cm square 1 gram equivalent and for molar conductance it is clear that ohm inverse cm square mole inverse okay so this is all about the molar conductance or molar conductivity of an electrolytic solution means uh, when one mole of substance uh, dissolve in an aqueous solution they will dissociate to form the number of ions and the number of ions formed they can conduct electricity in its aqueous uh, conduct electricity okay so next we will do some of the numericals which is related to the specific conductance specific resistance equivalent conductance molar conductance and so on so the numericals will be we will write we will read uh, the question so the question is given the specific conductance of two electrolytic solution of the one 0.1 m concentration of the uh, of the substances a and b are 4.7 into 10 to the power minus 4 and uh, 3.5 into 10 to the power minus 2 
ohm inverse cm inverse okay respectively so which of them offers less resistance for the flow of current and uh, which one is the strong electrolyte so in our question it is given that the specific conductance of two electrolytes here a and b are the electrolytes and uh, the concentration is 0.1 m and uh, the specific conductances are also given so we have to calculate that uh, which offers less resistance and which is the strong electrolyte in between a and b so first of all we will write the question the question is numerical one specific conductance specific conductance of two electrolytes two electrolytic solution two electrolyte solution of the 0.1 m okay of the 0.1 m uh concentration 0.1 m concentration of the of the substances of the substances a and b are 4.7 into 10 to the power minus 4 okay ohm inverse ohm inverse cm inverse so ohm inverse cm inverse means it's a specific conductance we can identify from the um, units and uh, 3.5 into 10 to the power minus 2 ohm inverse cm inverse respectively okay so now the question is which of them offers less resistance which of them which of them offers less resistance which of them offers less resistance for the flow of current for the flow of current and when one is stronger electrolyte and uh, which is and which is which is stronger electrolyte okay this is the question the specific conductance of two electrolytic solution of one cm cube concentration the concentration is 1 cm 1 uh, 0.1 m and the substances a and b are the 4.7 10 power minus o this is this one is the uh, specific conductance of a and this one is the specific conductance of b so our question is which of them offers less resistance for the flow of current means from in between a and b we have to calculate which resists the flow of electricity which of them offers less resistance okay whether it is a or b we don't know we can uh, calculate then which is the stronger electrolyte and uh, one thing <coughs> we have to know that the resistance which uh, offers less less resistance which is a strong electrolytic solution okay so we will do the <coughs> numerical the answer will be So in our question, it is given that. <clears throat> so specific, we know that specific conductance it is given. So we have to calculate the specific resistance. Okay, we will calculate the specific resistance. Specific resistance also specific resistance is the reciprocal of specific conductance. Uh, we got that the specific conductance is 4.7 into power minus 4 ohm inverse ohm inverse cm inverse. So easily we can calculate one uh, the specific resistance. Okay. So in the specific conductance of, of A, the specific 
conductance of A of the localite A is equal to 4.7 into 10 to the power minus 4 ohm inverse cm inverse and also the specific conductance of the solution the specific conductance conductance of B is equal to 3.5 into 10 to the power minus 2 ohm inverse cm inverse ok so uh, we know that the specific conductance uh, specific resistance is the reciprocal of specific conductance ok so we can calculate the specific resistance so therefore the specific specific resistance of A is equal to 1 by 4.7 into 10 to the power minus 4 ohm inverse cm inverse ok <coughs> ohm inverse cm ohm inverse cm because it is reciprocal to each other ok so specific resistance the unit of specific resistance equal to ohm inverse cm inverse ok so easily we can calculate the value the value I have calculated that is uh, 2127.66 ohm inverse ohm cm ok ohm cm it is the specific resistance of A so likewise the specific resistance of specific resistance of B is equal to which is also we know that the specific resistance equal to reciprocal of the specific conductance so we will write 1 by 3.5 into 10 to the power minus 2 ohm cm so the value will be 28.66 ohm cm ok 26.6 ohm inverse ohm cm so we have calculated the specific resistance of A and specific resistance of B ok so our question is which of them offers less resistance so uh, we can see that the 21 uh, 2127.66 ohm inverse sorry ohm cm and 28.66 ohm inverse sorry ohm cm so this one is the less resistivity ok so specific resistance of B the value of resistivity specific resistance is 28.66 so in our question which of them offers less resistance for the flow of current so the solution B solution offers less resistance ok and also the current which, uh, which one is the stronger electrolyte and B also the stronger electrolyte so uh, because its uh, specific resistance its resistivity is uh, less so it is a strong electrolyte ok <clears throat> so we can write the solution B offers less resistivity the solution B offers less resistivity less, less resistivity and a strong electro Right. Okay, so we have compared, we have uh, do the comparison between the A and B <coughs> electrolytic solution, and uh, the B solution has the less uh, resistivity and resistance is less, and it is a strong electrolyte. Okay, so <coughs> the in this question, the given uh, the conductance specific conductance is given, so we have calculated the specific resistance. 
and we know that the resistance is reciprocal to conductance and both are reciprocal to each other and specific conductance is, is reciprocal to specific conductance is reciprocal to specific resistance okay so next <coughs> we will do another another numerical that is uh, related to our molar conductance or molar conductivity so the numerical so in this numerical 0.05 0.05 NaOH solution sodium hydroxide solution offers a resistance of 31.6 ohm okay we know that the <coughs> resistance the unit of resistance is ohm in a conducting cell at 298 kelvin okay so a temperature is also given so if the cell constant of the cell constant of, of the cell is 0.376 uh, cm inverse calculate the molar conductivity of the sodium hydroxide solution so we have to calculate the molar conductivity of sodium hydroxide solution so in this question it is given that 0.05 m naoh solution okay the molarity is also given and the resistance is r is also given 31.6 and cell constant is given so we have to first of all we have to calculate the conductance and uh, the specific conductance from the specific conductance what amount we have got that we will put the formula of the molar conductance so that we will get the molar conductivity of the solution okay first of all we will write the question 0.05 m NaOH sodium hydroxide solution offers a resistance offers a resistance of 31.6 ohm in a conductivity cell conductivity cell at 298 kelvin if the cell constant if the cell constant of the cell is 0.376 cm inverse calculate the molar conductivity of calculate the molar conductivity of the solution of the NaOH solution. Okay, so <laughs> we know that 0.05 m means the molarity of sodium hydroxide is 0.05 m offers a resistance of 31.6 ohm means the resistance is given 31.6 in a conducting cell that 298 Kelvin is given the temperature if the cell constant is of the cell is 0.376 uh, cm inverse then calculate the molar conductivity of the sodium hydroxide solution we know that molar conductivity means the lambda m okay and lambda m equal to k into kappa into 1000 cm cube divided by its molarity okay so <coughs> the given things are the molarity of the solution molarity of the solution here the molarity of the solution is given 0.05 m and resistance of solution and resistance resistance equal to 31.6 ohm and cell constant cell constant equal to 0 0.367 0 0.3 uh, 76 0.376 cm inverse <coughs> This is 7 cm inverse. So the conductance we can calculate. 
conductance is equal to 1 by R. So conductance is equal to 1 by R means conductance is equal to reciprocal to resistance. So we can calculate 1 by 31.6 uh, ohm inverse. It will be ohm inverse 31.6 ohm inverse. Okay. So the specific conductance you will calculate. So specific conductance means uh, here kappa. So we can calculate uh, uh, specific conductance equal to conductance into cell constant. In cell, cell constant is given 0 0.367. So specific conductance. Specific conductance equal to conductance into cell constant. Conductance into cell constant. Okay. Here we know that the conductance equal to uh, 1 by 31.6 into cell constant is given. That is 0 0.367. So the value is calculated 0 0.1. 111 uh, 0.0116 ohm inverse CN inverse. Okay, the specific specific conductance uh, means kappa we have calculated. So <coughs> now easily we can calculate the value of the molar conductivity or molar conductance of a electrolytic solution. So the molar conductance molar conductance lambda m is equal to k into 1000 cm cube whole divided by its uh, molarity ok whole divided by its uh, molarity so we know that the kappa is also we have calculated 0.0116 into uh, <coughs> into 1000 cm cube and the molarity is given that 0.05 m mole. Okay, so I have calculated that the value will be 232 ohm inverse cm square mole inverse. So the molar conductance of molar conductance of uh, the electrolyte or sodium hydroxide equal to 232 ohm inverse. 232 ohm inverse cm square mole inverse. Okay, so <coughs> in this numerical, we have calculated the question uh, is to calculate the molar conductivity of the solution. So we have done the procedures I am explaining. In this question, it is given that the molarity is given and resistance is given, and cell, cell constant is given. So first of all we will convert it into the resistance is given we have to calculate uh, for for calculating the specific conductance we have to calculate its first of all the conductance okay and conductance is called reciprocal of the resistance we have calculated and uh, <coughs> the value of conductance we have given we have we have got to calculate the specific conductance and for the specific conductance specific conductance is called conductance into cell uh, cell constant and conductance we have calculated from the resistance I'll say and cell constant it is given okay so easily we can calculate it. the <coughs> molar conductance kp m equal to uh, kappa into 1000 cm cube divided by its molarity and specific conductance equal to kappa here okay so we got the value of 232 point ohm inverse cm square mole inverse so this is all about the calculation of uh, numericals. Um, we have done the numericals related to the specific resistance and uh, the molar conductance. Okay, in uh, <coughs> next class uh, we will discuss about the calculation of the equivalent conductance and uh, the specific conductance. Okay. So uh, today we have learned about the equivalent conductance and molar conductance and we know that equivalent equivalent conductance is equal to the conducting power of all the ions 
when one gram equivalent of substance is dissolved in the aqueous uh, solution. And molar conductance means the conducting power of all the ions produced uh, during one mole of electrolytic solution dissolved in a electrolytic solution. Okay, dissolved in a aqueous solution. So this is all about the equivalent conductance and molar conductance and some of the numericals. In next class, uh, we will discuss the remaining uh, numericals. Okay. Thank you. <clears throat> I think uh, all of you understood. And uh, if you have any query, any doubts, you can uh, contact me through WhatsApp and the phone calls. Okay. Thank you very much.